Congratulations to Mary Rausch, who's just been named the 68th WVU Mountaineer. Mary will also be the third woman to don the buckskins. The first was Natalie Tennant in 1990, and the second was Rebecca Durst in 2009. Both of those women faced an incredible uphill battle as they were the Mountaineer. They faced a lot of pushback by people who told them that women couldn't be Mountaineers. Both Natalie and Rebecca heard a lot about their lack of a beard. Natalie Tennant told me that when she initially thought about applying to become the Mountaineer, she wasn't even sure that women could apply. But then she looked at the Mountaineer statue in front of the lair and said, the statue doesn't have a beard. Why does the Mountaineer need a beard? In fact, Rebecca Durst told me the same story. But the important thing to remember is that the Mountaineer isn't just what the Mountaineer looks like. It's what the Mountaineer is. As a lot of the former Mountaineers have told me, they don't see themselves as a mascot. They see themselves as a symbol, as an ambassador, not just of the university, but of the state. Most Mountaineers in recent years have done at least 200 personal appearances during their year as the Mountaineer. So they're doing a lot more than just showing up to fire up fans at football and basketball games. We need to respect the fact that they're doing a lot of heavy lifting as the Mountaineer and a lot of work that none of us really ever see.